In this demo, we'll show how to create partitions with Tabular Editor. You can open Tabular Editor by going to External Tools in Power BI. If you have Tabular Editor installed, you should be able to open Tabular Editor that's already connected to the model that you have opened in the desktop. However, you can't create partitions straight from a Tabular Editor that's connected to a local model. If you do create new, there's not an option that's called partitions and you would have to um, publish this to Power BI service first and then connect through XML endpoints. We already have this model published to Power BI service. So we're going to open from DB, have the connection string for the XML endpoint and then sign in with our Azure ID and select the model that we need. You do need the premium or premium producer license to be able to use XML endpoints. Select the model you need and from here you can actually go to the table and create new partitions. Now when you create a new partition it will be called new M uh, partition and it's asking you for an expression. You can write out the expression yourself, but the easiest thing to do is to go to the Power Query editor and then um, do a filter. So we're gonna filter by this term and then open the advanced editor, copy this M code out and then go back to tabular editor, put it in the express uh, expression editor and then run the code. Then the code will be added to the um, partition. So you can rename this partition as well, we'll call it Mr. Partition. If you deploy this back to Power BI service as this it is, it will arrow out and this is because the original partition, if you look at the uh, M code, it includes the um, Mr. Uh, title equals to Mr. So both of these partitions contain the same data, so your data will be duplicated. What you will need to do is to update this code as well so that the uh, partitions contains mutually exclusive data. So again, the easiest thing to do is to go back to Power Query Editor and we're going to select all, but leave out the Mr. Bit and then do the advanced editor copy the code out, go back to the um, tabular editor, run this code. So now in the original partition, it's being updated to all the data points that has title doesn't equal to Mr. And the other partition has the data where title equals to Mr. And now what we can do is to deploy the data. In order to deploy the model, we'll go to uh, model and then do deploy. Move this over here and we're going to deploy to the um, workspace that we have. Do next and we'll say we want to update this model. Go next and this is important. You want to select um, what you want to include and because we are creating new partitions we definitely want to deploy table partitions if you are updating roles or role members you want to potentially take those as well and then we do collect and deploy and now tabular editor will deploy the metadata to power bi service for us when I say it's a metadata deployment, that means you're going to have to go to Power BI service and trigger a refresh for the data within the model to be updated. This is a metadata only deployment.